In this video, we're going to learn how to create a plumbing plan using detail lines. The first thing we need to do is create a copy of the floor plan we plan on using. So I'm going to right click on the floor plan here, say duplicate view, duplicate. We're going to rename this. So right click, rename. We're going to say plumbing plan floor one. Say OK. In this plumbing plan, let's hide our uh, section view. And we're going to be focusing really in this area. This is where all my plumbing is in the house. And then also there's some running to this bathroom here. Let's focus in on over here for the video. So my water line coming into the building is over here by the water heater. And then from there, my lines branch out to the bathroom and to the kitchen. We're going to go up into the Manage tab. And then from the Manage tab, we're going to Additional Settings, and we're going to click on Line Styles. Line Styles is where we are going to create some additional line work to use for detail lines. The line styles we create are going to be hot water, cold water, drains, and vents for the plumbing system. I can click on New for a new line style. Just name this Hot Water Supply. It's going to be a line category. Here's my hot water supply. Line color for hot water supply is going to be red. Say OK. And then the line pattern here is going to be a dash with two dots. So dash dot dot. Then we're going to say apply. We're going to do another new one. So I'm going to click on new. The new line style here, I'm going to say cold water supply. We say OK. The color of cold water supply is blue. We say OK. And then the pattern for the line is going to be a dash and a dot. So I'm going to scroll down until I can see dash dot and say apply. The next line style that we're going to do is a drain. It's going to be a green solid line. So once again, new. Drain. Color. It's going to be green. Say OK. And it's solid. Apply. And the last new one we need to create is going to be the vent. Line style. Black. And it's just dashed. Dash. Apply and OK. Now as we go to draw our plumbing plan, we're going to go up to the annotate tab. Under detail line, we can choose uh, the different line styles that we have here now. So I can see cold water supply. Cold water supply is going to be going into my home. And it's going to be hooked up to the water tank. Also, it's going to branch out to my fixtures. I'm going to run these kind of along. And these would be run in the uh, underneath the flooring if I had a crawl space or it would be run to, uh, through the concrete. It would be trenched through the concrete for a pad, uh, a slab on foundation. So our fridge here, if it has a ice maker, we need to run, um, or a, a water dispenser in it, we need to run a cold water supply to that. Also, we need to run a uh, cold water supply to the right side if you're standing in front of the sink, to the right side of the sink. But since I'm looking at it from the opposite way, it's on the left here. And then we also need to run a cold water supply branched off to our toilet. And we also need to run it to the right side of the sink here. Additionally, we'll be running this line down and through to the uh, bathroom over here. So it would be run down, kind of trenched in the concrete. And it's going to be going up to the right side of the sink. And then from there, it's also going to be run to the toilet. And then it's also going to be run to the tub. From there, I can do the exact same thing for my hot water supply. 
And if I want to uh, change the scale on the dash here, uh, this dash slash dot, I can go up to the line style in the uh, manage tab and I can choose a slightly different uh, style of pattern. Um, I can choose one that's scaled down a little bit smaller so I can get a more frequent dash and dot. So I can go through the same with the hot water. Hot water, we need to make sure that we're pulling from the hot water heater. Uh, so if I go back to the annotate tab and I choose detail line, I'm going to choose hot water supply. And I need to make sure I'm pulling this out from the tank. And there's going to be a line that is going to be run to the left side of the sink. There's also going to be a line run down and to the dishwasher. And typically that's kind of branched off from the same supply line that's run to the sink. So I'm going to run it like this. And then we also need to run this hot water supply over to my bathroom. You can see it would be a lot cheaper plumbing wise if I had this other bathroom closer to my kitchen. So I'm going to run that to the sink. I'm also going to run that branched off to the bathtub. It would not be connected to the toilet. And that's it for my supply lines. As far as the vents, I need to think about how it's going to vent up and same thing with the drains, how it's going to drain out and exit the house. So when I do the detail lines for those, typically what we can do is have all of the fixtures connect to a drain that's going to then pitch away from the house. And then I have um, all my fixtures that are close to each other connect to a vent that's going to vent up and out of the roof. So if I do the drain, I'm going to have the sink here drain down and i'm going to have this exit the house um, kind of towards the middle so it's going to come over here and let's just say our main drain exits the house down and over here what i can then do is tie into that with the toilet And I can also tie into that. All well, the washing machine we didn't run anything to, so we still got to plug into that. Add that later. Tie into that the washing machine to the drain. Sink. Dishwasher. Which uh, typically will kind of pump into the same sink drain and we need to have all of these fixtures and when i do the drain i want to picture all of these elements um kind of picking and sloping towards uh towards each other so they can uh, kind of collect as they go. So here I've illustrated that the drain from the bathtub is going to then carry through and tie into the drain from the toilet and then from the, uh, the sink. And they're all going to kind of connect together then into one larger branch. And then they're going to all connect into this main drain that's leaving the house down here. And same thing with everything on the left side of the house. It's all going to start pitching down towards the middle of the house, collecting the different components as it goes and they'll all drain in together and exit the house as uh, one pipe, one larger pipe. And then for vents, this allows air uh, to kind of be part of the system here so everything can flow through. Otherwise, it's kind of like um, holding your finger over the top of a straw and then nothing would be able to move through. So our vents allow air movement through the system. So I'm going to go to vent and kind of the same concept applies. Although all of our vents don't have to be connected down low, they can connect up in the attic if, if we would like to have them all connected into one vent. In this scenario, I'm going to have a vent on both sides of the house. So I'm going to have a vent connecting from the uh, fixtures here along the side of the house. So I'm going to click on detail line and I'm going to just vent these fixtures 
together. And I'm going to vent these fixtures together. The uh, anything that has a drain needs a vent, so the refrigerator doesn't need it, but the uh, the sink's going to have one. I'm going to just have it have its own. I'm going to just do a circle for that. It's going to be going straight up, and I might as well draw a circle here where the vent's going to be. And then I'm going to have actually a third one here. I think it'll be just cheaper to do it. Won't look as nice from the outside. We'll have one more vent here sticking up out of the house, connecting this uh, bathroom, all three of these components together. And uh, I'll draw a circle. And that circle we refer to as a, a stack. And so that stack will come up and through the roof, allowing these to, to vent out. And that is a plumbing diagram illustrated with detail lines. Don't forget to save.